Martin, we're on your stand at Mac 2018. In the NTX, it's had even more improvements, aren't they? What are these improvements? The new generation spindles, again, the Turnmaster spindles, are uh, now available for this machine, giving you 36 months. The uh, Speedmaster milling spindle as well, giving you greater torque, uh, greater durability, uh, better accuracy, better stability. So better metal removal rates from customers' uh, requirements um, has also been included into this machine. And I note the sub-spindles kind of the other way around, isn't it? Sub-spindles on the left and the main spindles on no, the right. It's not at all. This isn't a machine with sub-spindle. They're both main spindles. They're main and counter. Uh, we've sort of twisted it around a little bit. We've loaded the uh, first operation into the counter spindle where we're doing some heavy roughing. Uh, and then we're finishing the uh, component, which would be traditionally for the sub-spindle, on the main spindle. So they're both identical, both got the same torque requirements? Same torque, same functionality, everything about them is identical, except for one little thing. Uh, the counter spindle that is on the right-hand side moves forward to meet the main spindle for part transfer. That's it. So in terms of the milling functions, obviously that is as powerful as a machining centre itself, but it's got its own axes, hasn't it? Yes, the spindle itself isn't just a spindle anymore. Uh, the spindle uh, effectively is uh, another axis. Uh, you can utilise it for production of uh, ports and profiles on the outside, simple programming methods, utilising the CLOS uh, control to generate uh, bores, tapers uh, on the outside of components. Uh, simply by interpolating the whole profile, so whether it's a groove or a pro, uh, bore in that manner. Uh, something that you can't get uh, a good surface finish where the milling or the customer won't accept uh, a milled surface and it has to be turned, then that function is available throughout this range of machines. So that's not a standard feature, that's something you have to spec at a time of purchase? Well actually as soon as you get the machine, the principle behind it's there, all it is is a software to allow you to do it. Okay, and it's a very fast nimble machine, does that mean we've, uh, we've had to give away some of the rigidity? None at all, none at all. This uh, is still based on the box-in-box -box design that it always has been with the octagonal ram. Uh, the, the bed of this machine is still a large Mirnite cast iron. Uh, piece, extremely stable, only three point, uh, only three feet to put it down on and bolt it down, so very quick and easy to install, not multiple bolt down points. So the machine is inherently rigid. So if we look at some of the things away from the machining process, how many, uh, how many tools does this machine have as standard? Starts off at uh, 38 uh, tools, 76, and then 114 is available for this size of machine. And control options? The control in this instance at the moment, you have the MAPS control with the FANUC uh, programming. Uh, the smaller machine, uh, the 1000, has already got the C, uh, Siemens option. Uh, this will also appear on here. And just finally, I noticed the head swinging all over the place there. It, it's, go, it's going past the centre line, is it? What, plus or minus 110? Yes, plus or minus 110, full contouring as we said, uh, tied in with the uh, uh, power of that uh, spindle. We're through spindle coolant. 70, 80 bar of coolant uh, through the spindle. And I know this is a very popular seller for DMG Mori. I don't see that changing with these additions, do you? No, it's just helping the customer get more from his machine. Uh, better quality, that's all it is at the end of the day.